Ready to pick up where we left off? Because the journey of the Panchatantra is far from over. Kalila Wadimna, Ibn Amu Kafa's famed translation, traveled across cultures, continents and centuries until it made its way to the desk of French luminary, Jean de La Fontaine. When he published his second compilation of fables around 1678, he tipped his hat to Ibn al Mukafa and the Panchatantra. We can actually find traces of similar storylines throughout their work. For example, the story of the tortoise and the two ducks appears in both La Fontaine's fables and Kalila Wadimna, warning that those who are too proud or don't follow the rules will lose. The beauty of these universal themes is that they transcend time and place. Long after La Fontaine's revamp, these fables were adapted several hundreds of times and translated into more than 50 languages. Today, artists continue to draw inspiration from these fables. Turkish artist Melis Boyruk recently adapted Kalila Wadimna into a large-scale ceramic sculpture. Which fable has made a lasting impression on you?